Okay, we have uh, uh, His Royal Highness Oba Ajibadi Alabi now with us. Uh, good morning, Your Highness. Good to have you. Yeah, morning. Now, okay, there are conflicting reports as regards the issues between the governor and the traditional council in Ekiti. Can you give us an account of what really transpired? Well, uh, the, the government has earlier issued a statement on it, and uh, I think the, the, the statement by the government spokesperson of this. Okay, uh, if you can hear me, I'm struggling to get your line, but let's just proceed. Kindly make us understand the meaning and composition of the Pelu Pelu Abaship in Ekiti State, which is one of the bone of contentions there. Well, the, the Pelu Pelu uh, issue is uh, it derives from colonial era, and uh, during the colonial era, when the British uh, colonized Nigeria. Uh, they called Obas into a meeting, and uh, Obas attended the meeting. The Obas that attended those meetings and that were meeting from time to time then were the ones referred to as Pelu Pelu in the city. It actually cut across the whole of Nigeria. It was not peculiar to the state alone, and the number varied with time. So that was what happened. When it started in 1900, it was made up of 16 of us. Out of the 16 of us, two had to leave for one thing or the other. Uh, the baby of Akure, the one of Obo, in Kuara State, uh, leaving uh, the number to be at 14. Uh, in 1909, another Oba was admitted, the attack of Wiley. In 1929, Another Oba was admitted, William Murray of Emu, making it 16. In 1947, four Obas were admitted by the colonialists, Alawe, Arajaka, Olojido, Ido, Ide, and Olosi, making it 20. Uh, the Pelu Pelu was actually dissolved by the colonialists in 1958, to for independence. So as at the time it was dissolved in 1958, the council was made up of 20 others. But in 1971, the government of General Adenika de Bayon admitted another Oba, the Olomu of Omo. In 1971, he was admitted to the Pelu Pelu, making the number 21. And by 2018, Governor Yopayoshi admitted the 22nd member of the Pelu Pelu making it 22. So as such today, uh, with government records, there are 22 others in the Pelu Pelu class, and these 22 others have been enjoying the best of office in terms of remuneration, in terms of uh, benefiting from uh, distribution of official vehicles, in terms of seating arrangements in council meetings, and there are a lot of other things. So there is no ambiguity, there is no controversy about uh, the composition of the Pelu Pelu. It's made up of, as such today, officially, government gazette, government records in the state, the Pelu Pelu class is made up of 22 of us. All right. Uh, Your Highness, now let's take, go back to uh, this situation that I already have on ground. According to your letter, you seem not to be comfortable with the Alafin's opposition position on this matter. Isn't it important for prominent others in the Yoruba land to intervene in matters as this? Well, it's not, the matter is not as serious as it's been uh, portrayed. It's just a storm in a chief of and our ground with the intervention of Allah is that the intervention was one-sided. And uh, I'm sure Kabir is here Allah, eh, with due respect, knows that he didn't get in touch with us in the Kitty State. Uh, the traditional council at that today uh, is made up of 70 of us. And if 11 are agreed, that's of 70. Mm. And Kabir is here Allah, eh, listened and heard from 11 of us, half of 70 without hearing the other side of the coin, uh, we, we, we didn't like that. And that was why we had to issue our letter mm -hmm. uh, to Governor Shilima today that KBSD Allah, we should not merge into that affair. 
because uh, he has not looked at the matter who needs to tell him. Mm -hmm. All right, on the heels of that, some stakeholders, though, feel the interference of the state authorities in the affairs of the traditional institutions seem to be undermining the respect which ought to be accorded to the council. What are your thoughts on this? Well, the, uh, don't forget that Nigeria is a republic. Mm -hmm. And this is not the continuity of a republic. You know, a republic is a country under the rulership of elected representatives of the people. That in itself has eroded the authority and the powers of the monarchy. So it has subjected the authority of the monarchy to that of the government. Mm -hmm. So the monarchy must continue to work harmoniously with government without uh, being confrontational and uh, without being in competition with government. When, when, when there is competition, there is unhealthy rivalry, it leads to crisis between government and the monarchy. Mm -hmm. The monarchy, the traditional council or individuals, is not a labor union, it's not a labor movement. We should work in contact with government to bring development to our people. So it is when people are getting compacted mm -hmm. that we tend to have problems. All right. Thank you so very much, Your Highness, for joining us this morning. Thank you.